Hi, I'm Richard Myersko from Ocean Rodeo Sports in Victoria, BC, Canada. Uh, a lot of customers, shops are asking, you know, who the heck is Ocean Rodeo? Why do they have these amazing dry suits? Where did they come from? What do they know about dry suits? How can they do this? We're getting this uh, comment quite often. Well, actually, Ocean Rodeo, uh, the company's been around since 2001. However, our history in dry suits goes well before that, actually to 1993. Um, I, I was involved and started a company called White's Manufacturing. We've become one of the world's largest manufacturers in the dive industry, uh, making dive dry suits, military dry suits, survival dry suits. That company is now part of the Aqualon Group. Ocean Rodeo has retained the uh, board sports section of that, um, of all the product designs from White's, and we've focused on stand up paddleboarding, kiteboarding, windsurfing, and sailing. So, Ocean Rodeo has approximately a 20 year history in dry suit manufacturing with our design team here at the office. Ocean Rodeo is using a three layer uh, waterproof breathable material for the, uh, the body of the suit. The, uh, the outer layer is a 200 denier nylon. The waterproof uh, breathable layer is a microporous PU membrane. And the inner layer is a Trico nylon scrim. Really, the, uh, the Trico nylon scrim is sacrificial. What it does is it uh, protects the waterproof membrane from abrasion from perhaps your undergarments and things like that uh, that might be going on inside the suit. The uh, PU material uh, works like a heat exchanger system, basically uh, uh, warmth to cooler. It drives the moisture out through the membrane. Salt can't get captured within the uh, membrane. Um, the, some of the Teflon fabrics out there, when, they, uh, when the salt water passes through, the crystals can dry in the fracture cracks of the Teflon and, and ultimately cause delamination. So the Ocean Rodeo fabric is specifically designed for use in salt water. Works great in fresh water as well. When a customer is trying a dry suit on for the first time in the shop, they may find that the seals are too tight. Um, ideally, you don't want to have to start trimming seals until you've found the right suit size. So unfortunately on the, the wrists and ankles, your customer is just going to have to grin and bear it if they're too tight. Typically, they're, um, those are the easier seals. Where it gets a little more tricky is with the neck seal. Uh, a tight neck seal can be quite uncomfortable. There's a way to don this suit and try it in the store without actually having to put the neck seal on all the way. And that's what we call our standby mode. And we'll show you, show you this a little later in the video. Once your customer has found the, the proper size suit, um, you may have to trim the seals. I mentioned that earlier. So uh, to, trim, to trim the seals, there's actually ring markings on the insides of the seals. And uh, it's important that you trim no more than one, one ring at a time. So for instance, on the neck seal, maximum eighth of an inch per cut. Uh, and on the wrist, the same thing. Just do, do small cuts until they um, find a comfortable fit. The person doesn't have to have the suit on when you're doing the uh, wrist and neck seal and ankle seal fittings. So they can just be sliding their hand through with the suit off and then back and forth testing the fit as you go along. Perhaps the, uh, the most innovative new feature that we have on the sole is a new captive zip design. Uh, this design allows us to do the, the uh, pant jacket styling and create the overlays which allow us to put pockets on, it, on an overlay rather than putting them onto, a, onto the dry part of the suit which is a really nice feature. The other nice thing about Captive Zip is it allows self-donning. So um, by the zip simply draping around the back of the neck we can uh, add extra fabric in the center of the suit which allows the zip ends to open gusset open which allows you to do a self-entry on the suit. When you're in the suit you zip up the dry zip and close the jacket over flaps. When you close the jacket over flaps it draws the zipper ends in away from your shoulders which provides maximum mobility for stand-up paddleboarding, kiteboarding, windsurfing, all those types of sports. Um, the other really unique feature about Captive Zip is Prior to going on the water, if you want to have a lot of venting with your suit or don't want to have your neck seal on, you can wear the suit with the neck seal off, flip down, and then just close the over jacket zips. We call this standby mode. And the, the sole is the only dry suit in the world that, uh, that allows you to do this. Uh, the industry standard up until 
say three, four years ago, was the brass dive style dry zip. You'll, you'll still see this on some, some water sports suits. Um, this zipper is a fantastic product. Uh, it's been around for many years, it's proven. Um, what we found on the water sports suits when we were looking for a lot of mobility was it was a little stiff. Um, there's a German company called Tizip who have been spending a lot of time and energy developing a new polyurethane uh, highly flexible zipper. It's called the Master Seal T-Zip. Uh, we've been working on this zipper with them for about three or four years and uh, it's been a great success. It's added a lot more flexibility in the upper body. Um, the zipper's been tested and proven. We've got it, uh, we've been, been in production with it for about three years now. Uh, thousands of suits on the market. There's been absolutely no issues. To make a waterproof suit, obviously the seams have to be uh, heat taped to uh, create water integrity. We use a tape called Melco tape. It's, um, it's got a heat activated adhesive and all of our components, the zippers, the seals, all have polyurethane in them. So they're all compatible with this adhesive, which makes for a very, very uh, solid seam construction and great water integrity. Um, the other thing that we do on our suits, we're very aware of minimizing seams on the suit itself. So we don't have any four point seams, for example, the crotch uh, where the arms come in, they're all offset seams. So you don't have any of these uh, four point layered uh, pressure points. One of the nice design features of the captive zip um, has resulted in the uh, overlay uh, panels on the chest and that wrap around the waist. Um, because of these overlay panels, we can install nice features like hand warming pockets. We have a chest pocket and we also have an access port that uh, kiteboarders, sailors, windsurfers can use where they want to um, put their harness underneath the, uh, the waist skirt and have the harness hook extend through the jacket. Uh, it's important for uh, kiteboarders in particular, if they're using a safety release cuff, make sure they can access the, uh, the release cuff if they have their harness under the over jacket. Um, these, water, these pockets are not waterproof, they um, have a, a drainage mesh on each pocket, so if you're using a, an iPod or something like that on one of the pockets, make sure your iPod is waterproof. Ocean Rodeo Soul comes complete with a removable hood. We spent a lot of time designing this hood. It has uh, fantastic drainage, so you don't get bucketing if you're kiteboarding or wipe out in the surf. You get up back onto your stand-up board, you don't have a big um, pool of water in your hood. So you can actually see the drain holes here on the inside of the overlay. That's actually a one mil neoprene um, inner liner for warmth. On the back of the hood, we have a huge overlay flap that just lets the water jet out. So very, very quick to get the water out of the hood. Each suit comes complete with elastic uh, webbing suspenders. The suspenders are attached to the suit with Velcro tabs. Uh, one of the things that can happen sometimes when you put a suit on, a dry suit, is you can accidentally get the suspender hooked around one leg. So you're halfway into the suit and then you realize, uh oh, I've got to take it off to get the suspender out of this issue. But um, with the Velcro tabs, just simply unvelcro, pull the suspender strap back through put it over your shoulder and then re-velcro up the suspender. We have a, a wide range of colors available on the suits. Um, one of the things we always are concerned about is uh, visibility. So um, all of the suits are built with 3M reflective piping that wraps up the front uh, torso of the suit, around the back of the neck and down. As we move down to the lower section of the suit, we have the gravel guards built into the suit on the lower leg. Uh, this is an overlay from the knee down. What you do is you, when you put your wetsuit boot on, um, just flip the gravel guard up and over the top of the boot, and that stops debris getting into the, uh, into the top of your boot like sand and gravel. Um, you can see the uh, double overlay knee that we talked about earlier, drainage uh, on each corner. Uh, another very interesting feature we, we've learned about just over years and years of making dry suits is the crotch design on this suit. Um, it's designed specifically to allow full range of motion so you can straddle a stand-up paddleboard or um, you know, full, full mo mobility while you're kiteboarding. The other thing is in really fine sand we found that any uh, seam that runs up the inside of a pant leg on a dry suit, especially a loose cut suit, the fine sand can abrade. Uh, where the tape seam is when the person is walking, it creates a friction. So by removing that seam, we've re removed another uh, critical wear point on the suit. 
Quite often we're asked about the, uh, what's the best method to look after the suit and clean the suit. Um, definitely don't machine wash or machine dry your dry suit. Uh, the best method we found to clean these suits is a product from the McNet, McNet Corporation called Mirazyme. It's a microbial uh, cleaner. You simply add the Mirazyme to some warm water, slosh your suit around in the, in the bucket and just let it drip dry. It's an amazing product. So Mirazyme, also uh, a product from the McNet Corporation called Seal Saver. It's a fantastic treatment to put on your seals, keeps them soft and supple and uh, easy to use. One of the things we find that really uh, helps increase the awareness of the suit in a retail store environment or trade shows uh, is by using these inflatable mannequins. Uh, dry suits typically when you hang them up tend to hang and look quite long you know, on a display wall. Uh, by having at least one suit and a mannequin like this allows customers to really have a good look at the suit and the features. Um, also sometimes it's a good idea because the, the uh, sole looks like a pant jacket. Um, people quite often don't know it's actually a one-piece dry suit. So in the store you might want to have it slightly open on the mannequin so people see that it's actually a one-piece dry suit.